there, Pokemon Pit Beta. My name is Etika, and um, I've had a couple of battles uploaded with you guys using a pretty unorthodox team. And um, I bring you a battle today, which will actually use the same team. If you remember, it focuses around the cores of Nidal Queen, who's um, who I nicknamed Virgo, and my Houndoom, also my Sigilyph. Um, so, it, this battle is also pretty old in the sense that it came around when fourth or rather 5th gen was just starting and if you remember team preview still had everybody caught by surprise so I mean there were a lot of leads that weren't really conventional you didn't see your standard stealth rocking suicidal Azelf or your Aerodactyls or even your Absols with Sword Dance and Sucker Punch so I mean it was a really really interesting time because people were really experimenting with leads back then anyways I have a battle today against someone who was named Adam and the battle was one of the most intense battles I've ever had in my life and um, let's just see how well I do today. Um, if you guys um, have any ideas about the battles or whatever, then you can please feel free to leave any comments or concerns or likes or dislikes or anything. I don't care. Well, actually, I do care. I really do. I won't put on the facade that I don't. I really do. But anyways, um, also, if you don't know, I am Etika and from the Etika World Network. Um, check out my channel if you would like. Um, I have a lot of good content on there. And I've recently gotten my new computer, so now I am able to post content and upload videos on a regular basis instead of me just being able to do only one and having my computer break down. Yeah. Anyways, so getting into the battle. Um, like I said before, my opponent's name is Adam, and I start off with my Houndoom, who you guys remember, the MVP of many matches that I've had before, and he leads off with the Tornadoes, before it was banned, so I mean, it was still legal at this term. He starts off with a Taunt, however, I knew that I wanted to get an attack on this thing because Tornadoes was a threat, even back then. So I used the Heat Wave on him, it does a pretty good amount of damage considering the fact that I don't have as many special attack EVs in Houndoom, but um, I go for a Sucker Punch just to be able to catch him in that combo to finish him off, but he goes into Shandy the Lord expecting another heat wave. That's perfectly fine with me, but um, I expected him to go for an attack, I believe. Oh wait, no, actually I didn't. So I switch out and I go into Madre, who was my Kangaskhan, who you probably remember from my other matches as well. And um, this Suicune, I think that it has the roar on it, so I want to test it out by going for a workup to see if the Suicune has the roar, because if it does have roar, then it won't make much use staying in there working up, but he can just send me out, because I won't be able to muster up that much attack power to deliver a powerful hit. So because I feel I'm going to be roared out, I just go for an attack to gauge the damage after a workup. And I use a Retaliate, which is base 70, but with Stab and the workup, it does a pretty good amount of damage. Almost half to Suicune, who probably has a lot of defense investment since he's using the special um, defense special attack set with Calm Mind. So to prevent him from doing this, I go into Houndoom and use Taunt, but I mispredicted quite a bit, and he goes for the Skull instead, just wanting to take me out point blank, period. It takes me down to my Focus Sash, as you guys know I carry, and, um, and since this was the beginning of 4th gen, and leads were very experimental, you didn't really see many stealth rocks, so Houndoom is in there at 1 HP, and it's looking really, really bad, and I want to save Houndoom, because I feel it can be useful with its priority move, so I switch it out, go into Wintuck. Now, Wintuck takes the Skull, however, since it's boosted with the Calm Mind, it does a little bit more damage than I thought it would, however, Wintuck is still able to take it quite well, because the special defense is extremely high. Anyways, I go for a Reflect now to protect myself against any physical threats, because I feel that um, he might have some on his team which can actually do some damage and so I go into my Nidal Queen now and um, I take the Stone Edge like a boss because you know I have defense EVs and special attack EVs so he goes for an acrobatics but I have a reflect up and I have max defense this kills me did you see that I have maximum defense on Nidal Queen really good HP and the reflect up and yet the acrobatics destroys me I think he got the critical hit there. I'm not too sure though. I can't remember what it said. But anyways, um, he goes into his Jirachi. I go for the Rock Slide on my um, Tauros, predicting the um, the Archeops to stay in, but he switches out. And so I say whatever. I go for an Earthquake now on the Jirachi, even though I know it won't kill, but it'll do an okay amount of damage on it. However, um, he goes for the Thunder Wave, and um, you guys know what this is all about. This is your standard Thunder Wave, Iron Head, Serene Grace, Flinching Shed set that, you know, this fucks everyone up the ass, but anyways, um, he goes for the Iron Head, and you know what the chance is to attack? I actually get through with the Earthquake on Bistro, with the Parahax, and the Iron Head, with the Serene Brace from the Jirachi. What are the chances of that? I think, like he said himself in the battle, you're going to hate me for this, and I was like, I would, but I got through, so luckily me, I did that. Anyways, um, he goes for the Psychic on Chandelure, which um, I'm not sure if it's choice or not, I think it is. 
However, um, I just sent in Lucifer, and just to confirm with his choice, he goes for the Psychic again, and if he stays in and hits me with the Shadow Ball, of course he will be choice, but I mean, he switches out, so that shows me, okay, the Chandelure's choice, so I think I can take him out with Lucifer later on, if I'm able to catch him with the Sucker Punch. I go for one again, thinking that he would, if he wasn't choice, at least I'd be able to Sucker Punch him, but no, he switches out. So I don't want my Houndoom getting hit with any more Skulls, so I go back into Windsuck to be able to absorb the special attack from the Suicune because I feel that um, Windsuck is a really good special defensive wall. And um, just to emphasize on that ability a bit more, I think I go for a, uh, a light screen at some point, but I thought he would switch into a different Pokemon. Instead, he just roars me out. So um, because he has leftovers on his Suicune as well, the roaring and the constant shuffling will give him a really good ample opportunity to have his HP restored midway in the battle. But I go into my Sigalith and I go for a Calm Mind because I feel that he'll definitely go for the Ice Beam or the Scald on me at some point. However, he goes straight for the skull, and I mean, it burns me. However, Sigalith carries the magic guard, so it doesn't really do as much. At this point in the battle, I'm just thinking that I just need to be able to gather enough power at one time to hit this Suicune dead in the face to be able to stop it from shuffling me up. But, um, sadly, Sigalith isn't able to do that, even with a critical hit, because he already has a special defense boost from the Calm Mind, so it's really difficult dealing with this thing. Uh, I switch out of my Houndoom because I do not want Houndoom getting hit by anything and I go into my Windsuck once again. It takes the Skull once more, however my HP is dwindling to the point where I won't be able to take another one and sure enough, he gets the critical hit, Windsuck is taken out and there goes my special defensive wall for Suicune. So um, this is not looking good because at this point I don't have anything that can really absorb a hit from it as well as Windsuck. So just because Windsuck came out, just because Windsuck um, died that turn, I sent in um, my Kangaskhan to retaliate on the Suicune. Now, the Suicune is at low health, so I'm thinking, okay, he sees Houndoom, he's gonna attack. So I go for the Sucker Punch, but I'm wrong, and he goes for the rest! Oh! That's a horrible prediction! I could have killed that Suicune that turn using a Heat Wave or something, but I thought he, he would attack me, and I paid for the mistake myself, so that. I go for the workup again, just to be able to um, hit this Uxie with something in the middle of the match that can take it down. I mean, because at this point, I don't really care what he's doing. I'm just going to keep working up, because this thing is proving itself to be a problem here. So, whatever the case may be, as you can see, I'm working up even more. Um, he has the reflect up, but I could care less. Like, I really do not care. At this point, if I can get enough attack power, I can hit that Suicune for enough damage where um, I can take it down to almost, like, no HP. But um, he sends in the Chandelure. I go for the Sucker Punch. Do you think it's living this? I'm so sorry, Chandelure. You tried so hard. Even with the Reflect Up, with two workups on um, on my Kangaskhan, it's enough to take down the Chandelure with a non-stab Sucker Punch. So, um, very good on my part, I believe. He goes for his Suicune once again. But because he used the heal bell and hooksy, he comes in there and it's not sleeping anymore. I don't give a damn, and I just use the retaliate on it. And I think the reflect is still up at this turn. But um, it does a decent amount, but not enough. I need more power. So um, in order to be able to get some HP, so I extend my Kangaskhan's um, survivability, I just go for the Drain Punch to be able to get a little bit of HP from the Suicune, but I get worn out once more. I mean, it's not looking pretty for me. Just because the Suicune is shuffling my team to the point where I won't be able to set up anything to hit it hard enough. And so um, I go for the Calm Mind on my Sigilith because I'm thinking that with the way the Suicune works, the only thing I can do really is hope to set up in its face and then take it down later on. But I send in the Houndoom and at this point I'm thinking, okay, there's got to be some way I can take the Suicune down to enough HP. So he, I just go for the Sucker Punch to be able to do damage to take him low enough. I get a critical hit instead and take it out completely through the Reflect. The Reflect just wore off. That's crazy to me. Well, anyways, I'm thinking this Uxie is going to go for a setup move, right? But he goes for the U-turn, and that is a horrible prediction. If I had just gone for the Sucker Punch, I could have dealt an enormous chunk of damage to that Uxie. But instead, I'm overthinking things and thinking he's going to set up. So I just go for a taunt. This guy really predicted the hell out of me. Adam had, like, a really good hold on how my team works. So his Thunderous goes for the Focus Blast, 
And I remember thinking in the, um, at this point earlier on in 5th gen, like, damn, it gets Focus Blast? But then again, looking at the list of moves that Pokemon get, like, everybody gets fucking Focus Blast. I get Focus Blast, so I mean, it, it's, it's really a crazy situation. I go for Sigilyph, and I go for a Calm Mind to set up on his face, but he hits me with the taunt. He shuts me down totally, and that just... It just got really ugly at that point, so I'm, I switch in my um, my Tauros to be able to um, absorb a hit because I don't want my Sigilyph getting damaged, and the Focus Blast blows my bull to stake, like literally. Its name is quite fitting for it now, isn't it? But anyways, I go back to, to Bermuda, and um, I go. he goes for the Taunt again. However, I, I thought he would do that, so I just go for the Air Slash. Even though it's not very effective, at least it's some damage on this Thunder, so because his defenses aren't exactly optimal, even with the not very effective it, it's still able to do a lot of damage to him. Luckily, I'm able to dodge the Thunder right there, but I suppose he wanted to do some more setting up to make sure that my special attacks wouldn't kill him, because I guess he didn't want to lose his Thunders. So I see this Uxie, and I Air Slash again. And now that my Taunt's worn off, I go for the Calm Minds, because if I can get enough power, Power in front of my Sigilyph to be able to deal damage to his um, to his Thunderous, then I'll be able to kind of pull the match. And this is my last Pokemon, by the way, so things got a little close to call. I go for the Stored Power to castrate this guy, but instead, it doesn't really do much to him, even with the Calm Minds, because if you know Sigilyph, Calm Mind, and Stored Power, you know those three things in a sentence are really, really bad. But anyways, he goes back for the Thunderous, I go for the Stored Power on the Switch, and I take out Thunderous. Thank goodness. And now, you know, at this point, I'm celebrating. Things are really good now. You see... Well, I dodged the first Stone Edge, and um, I go for the Calm Mind. But now that I think about it, I should have probably gone for a different attack to lower him down to defeat us. But I didn't think that far in the match. So he hits me with this Stone Edge, and um, that's the way the cookie crumbles, folks. Yeah. I mean, I feel that in this battle, I could have definitely done better in terms of the predictions. My team, I could have used them more differently in order to be able to pull a better edge on it, but my opponent was really good, of course. I mean, Adam, no disrespect to you or anything, but he's a really good opponent. Uh, I definitely feel I let my Pokemon down a little bit because there were some things that I did were a little bit reckless in that match. There were some things I didn't exactly think out. That Suicune definitely had a good hold on me, but whatever the case may be, it was a really fun battle. I really enjoyed it. Pokemon Shred Beta, if you want more matches like this, please go and subscribe to the Etical World Network, my brand new channel, which brings a multitude of content of all kinds and types that people would like from all different cultures and ethnicities and people. It's crazy. So if you do want more battles like this, I'm, I am Etika from the Etical World Network, Pokemon Fit Beta. Thank you once more for hosting my battles, and I will talk to you all later. Peace, take care, and don't kill your children. How was Bobby formed?